Man, I got to do something d different with my sceneries. I know you guys are getting tired of seeing probably like trees and grass and parking lots and, and whatnot when I do my videos. But considering where I live, you know, that's that's what's outside my window. So a lot of times that's what I have available to uh, to showcase. I apologize for that. I'll work on uh, different sceneries. Um, uh, the reasoning for this video, I just wanted to do a video about fear. Um being children of the Father, being children of the Most High, it is a sin to fear. Do not let these people instill any kind of fear in you, no matter what the situation is. They're going to pull all kind of tactics. I've had people ride by me and shoot guns in the air while I was driving, like on the freeway and stuff like that. Don't let none of these people invoke any kind of fear in you. Because one thing that these people know about me, I do not fear death. I don't fear death at all. None of us are supposed to fear death because if you're living righteously, if you're living in accordance to the will of the Father in heaven, there is no such thing as death for you. But for those workers of iniquity, for those who continue to delight in wickedness, those who continue to seek after God's children to cause chaos and strife and distress in their lives, your death, I'll put it like this, there won't be death for you. It'll be eternal suffering, which is worse than death. So don't ever let any of these people invoke any kind of fear uh, to keep you from exposing the truth. All you targeted individuals out there, the ones that are true targets, please start posting the truth. Post what you're experiencing. Post what these people are doing to you. Couple it also with scripture. There are a lot of people out there that would discourage that, but I don't. These people are plotting ways to try to get back at me for posting videos. They're, they're doing little things to try to send me subliminal messages about getting shot and stuff like that. I do not care. I promise you I don't care. Bring it. Bring it. Whatever the Father's will is, that's what will be. That's what I'm beyond believing that. I know that. I know it. It's his will, not yours. So please do not be afraid of these people. And I'm going to reference a scripture. Uh, I guess I'm going to go to Matthew. Let's see. I'm going to go to Matthew 10. Uh, let's see. Uh, Matthew 10. Bear with me. Okay, we'll start here. Matthew 10 at verse 26. Therefore, do not fear them. For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be known. Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. And what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. But rather fear him who is able to destroy both the soul and body in hell okay so the father instructs us not to be scared of these people they can beat us up they can shoot us they can do all all facets of evil against us but the one thing they can't do is take our souls the one thing they can't do is hurt our souls or destroy also our souls okay so this isn't my word this is this is the word in scripture and then it goes on to say are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. Look at that. It is, like I said earlier, it is the will of the father. They can strike you with sickness. They can riddle you with all kinds of atrocities. But at the end of the day, it is the father's will that will prevail for you. So please do not walk in fear. Expose what these people are doing. If you got law enforcement harassing you, put their asses on camera. Put them on video. Excuse my language. Do not be afraid of none of these people. If it costs you your job, if it costs you uh, your house, if it costs you money, don't worry about those things. We serve a father who provides for his children. You have to be willing to sacrifice these things because we are not children of this world. Does it not say in scripture that if we were of the world, that the world would love us as their own? We have been set apart. Do not be afraid of these people. Okay. And then going on from that part. Um, but the very hairs 
of your head are all numbered. Do not fear. Therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Okay, so hopefully that's encouragement for you guys. Um, this video wasn't going to be too long, but, you know, I'm just noticing little things in here. People calling me trying to, you know, say little negative things to me. I don't know if they're perps or, you know, if, if they were sent to call to tell me certain things. It, it, it doesn't matter. Whatever you idiots, whatever you workers of iniquity are going to do. I promise you it won't prosper for my father's word in heaven is his bond. His word is his truth. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You go against me. You go against my father in heaven. And as it is written in scripture, the battle is not that of ours, but that of the father in heaven. So you better be very careful messing with me because death may be around the corner for you. The worst thing that could happen to you is that you die in your iniquity. You die doing an evil deed. And I promise you, if you come for me, I will protect myself by any means necessary, by power and authority of Yahuwah Elohim, by the power invested in me through him and through the blood of his only begotten son that came to this earth to die, to give us another chance to save us by his power and authority. I will defeat you. So whatever it is you got for me, bring it. Peace.